What's up, people? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when I be dropping these videos. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so. This was a very peculiar week in gaming news. Just when it started off super dry and we thought nothing was coming down the pike. So you had people talking about the Bibblewurts and the Gigahots again, you know, because they had nothing else to talk about. All of a sudden, boom, we get hit with, with gaming news dynamite. What is that gaming news that I'm talking about? Well, first and foremost, um, the Xbox gaming versus PlayStation gaming debate as far as quarterly numbers has begun, all right? So Xbox numbers were released. There was a big dip, a big dip in particulars in regards to those numbers. But people started to compare those same numbers to when Sony had released their dips and said that they were similar dips, if that makes any sense, right? And we look over the numbers and we break them down and by all intents and purposes, it doesn't look that way. So there's a lot of, possible misinformation being spewed out there on the internet and we want to go over and make sure everybody's in the know you know what i mean so definitely check it out and we also in that regards look into well why did why was there this perception that one company did a lot better than the other company opposed to what the numbers show you know there's a reason for that there are things that are happened that have happened there were slip-ups fraudulent fraudulent or not you know what i'm saying and there was flip-flopping that that was a big determinant on all that perception in regards to so i definitely want to talk about that and get into that as far as a deep dive is deep dive is concerned to explore why all that came about also i want to talk about the big big news so far in this week oh ferguson leaving man you know what i'm saying uh and i get it a lot of my Xbox brethren will say, MM2K, this is just you on the typical hate train for Phil Spencer. You hate him, man. You hate him and his family. <laughs> no. Um, I'm bringing this up not because I hate Phil and not because I'm trying to kick Microsoft's teeth in. I, I know I joke around about that. But it's important. If I'm going to go to my Sony brethren and say, it's important for y'all to be in the know, therefore when Jim Ryan does X, Y, Z, you're not surprised. It's important for my Xbox brethren to be in the know. So when people leave or there might be certain things that people are tweeting about that used to work for Xbox, you understand why instead of coming up with your own hypothesis that's not rooted in fact. So again, if I go to my PlayStation people and I'm like, yo, Jim Ryan did this, that, and the other because of this. I got to get in the know. Best believe I'm going to do the same thing with my Xbox people. So I want to do a deep dive into what this could possibly mean. Possibly. You know what I mean? Um, take and, and try to connect it to some other things that have happened to see if we can get a better picture of what's going on. Because no one's going to come and say, you know, if there is some issues, no one's going to come out flat out and say that. You know, even the tweets that I'm referring to by a certain entity, they didn't come flat out and just spell, put it on the line. It's a little bit of innuendo in there involved, but we get the point. So is there possibly going to be more of that? Let's get into it. Let's not sweep everything under the rug. Let's not act like it exists. It doesn't exist for our favorite piece of plastic. Let's look at everything from, again, what, 5,000 feet? So we're what? In the know. All right. And one of the, one of the other things that I want to talk about, too, in relation to 2020 is these pushbacks of heavily anticipated games has had an impact. People like myself <laughs> are very, very disappointed by this. With that being said, we still got games like Final Fantasy VII, Last of Us II coming, yes. But are there some other games that can fill up the holes uh, for the new releases, some games that we may have overlooked that have had, have had some enhancements and they may be better experiences now. I want to talk about them and highlight one of the newer games that is definitely coming out that people are in heavy anticipation of. So I talk about a lot of deep diving and, and looking in, at the root of things. Where are we doing that at? We're doing that at the Hard Knock Digital Culture, AKA my Twitch channel. Come on over. HNDC for the NRO podcast. 
Great podcast. Wish you could have been there live, but that's okay. We, we film it every week, okay? But join us this time on demand to see all this stuff being broken down to his very last compound, all right? Head on over to twitch.tv forward slash Mighty Most 2000, or you can go directly to the podcast show, the podcast episode, again, by clicking the comment section below, because in the comment section below, I have the direct link to that episode. So come on over, enjoy it. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.